Warning, this game depicts violence, death, substance abuse, mental illness, sense of unity, nudity. This game is rated for, recommended for teen and above. Hello everybody, good buddy Q here, here with Shambles, a game made for the Tim Tam Hema Jam. I made that up, but it's the game jam that... Game jam that was meant for Canon Italia AUs. I do not know what this one is at all. I don't know. But it was made by Air and Blue Lobsters, which is a crazy combo, and I'm really looking forward to what the hell this is about. So let's let's get into it. There we go. Fifth June, twenty twenty. Whoa. Ooh. Holy shit. SOS. Sorry. What the fuck? This is cool. What? What? Sorry, I looked at the cars. Oh, Jesus. That- that should hold them off for a while. Hey, hey. They- they came out of nowhere. They must have been spreading throughout this area. We can't even scout the city without running into them. I have a feeling we can't lay enough traps to keep them at bay either. If we don't want to die, we should probably find another stronghold somewhere else we can stay. Fuck. I thought we will not have to move again. I'm so sick and tired of constantly running. At this point, we have no choice unless we can figure out where they're coming from. Wait. Where's France? Inside? What the hell? Does he even fucking death wish? Well, perhaps we should leave those two to die by their own stupidity. We're not doing that. We can't just let these people die because we're afraid. We can't let fear control us. We've survived this long because we're stuck together and we're stronger for it. We should never let this situation control us. And we should never lose ourselves to being the horrible despair of a crumbling society. And we can rebuild and become even stronger than. <clears throat> what? Shit, which way could he be? Listen to the sound of inhumane growling and effeminate screaming, then follow it. Well, that really nails it down now, doesn't it? Those sounds come from every direction, and I couldn't hear his signature lady scream, so I assume he has already minced meat. Shut your trap! He's gonna be around here somewhere! I'll go left, you go right. You go down the hall, you go down you go down the hall down straight. Of course, I will split up to find my beloved Franz. Now we are here. Whack. Shit, this place is boarded up tight. We better find a way around. Like that. Oh yeah, that's deep. Watch your step. Blood. So much happenstance. Fucking hell, I was supposed to get over. 
Maybe there's something useful we can lay down to help us cross over. Sounds like a good idea. Ugh. So a board. We need a board. Chest. Here we go. This piece of wood should be big enough to bridge that gap. Well, come on then. We don't have any more t any more time to waste. Oops. Can I? Yes, I can run. Hooray! Ooh. Looks like we can get through on the other side of the other side here at least. Be on your guard, England. Right here. Well, this don't look good. At all. I'm nervous. Okay. Safe. Should we check in one of these rooms? Might, he might be in there somewhere. Well, there are a lot of them. It's a bit inconvenient, yeah? Seems like a lot of trouble to go to each individual one. I guess. I sense that my beloved France is not in those rooms. Because the power of our love is so strong, I have extra sensory perception that allows me to know what exact location he's in without needing to check anywhere. So he can basically smell where he is. Sure. Why didn't you lose them in the lobby so we didn't have to spread them into groups? Right, let's keep going. Uh oh. Ah! <gasps> it's painted white! I I thought because of their outfits, I'm like, some of them look really familiar, but we got a proper horror, everybody! Pictonians! Yeah, boy! Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, shit! Fucking hell! Romano, watch out! Oh, no. <laughs> Get the hell off me, you disgusting pick the bastard! Q! Q! I'm, I'm getting Q! Get off! Getting Q! Okay, I win. Come on now, we need to shoot! I need to reload! Um. Eh! I have aim for the heads now! Ooh! I did it! Yeah, get out of here! Fuck off! <sighs> England, are you alright? I should be asking you if you're alright. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'll walk it off. Let's keep going forward. We can't afford to stop to any fight any pictos. We have limited ammo. Ew, squishy! Oh, I understand now. It's painted white, but if it was... That didn't happen. Stop. He's in here. Jeez, you're like a horny bloodhound or something. <gasps> France! France! England, I thought you left me behind. No, I would never do that. I'm just so relieved that you cared enough about me to not leave me to die. Mind you, I never thought you'd save my life like this. Wow, how touching. Anyway, stop mocking about it. We have to leave. Oh no. Bloody hell. They swarmed in like a bunch of rats in a grocery aisle full of cheese. Oh, oh god, that hurt. Oh, please. No oh, shit, we need to save him. We're out of ammo. Oh no. Oh, that's unfortunate. France, no! Okay, that's enough of that. Let's get out of here. What? <laughs> well, he's dead. Did you find him? Well, we did. We tried to save him, but. 
The fog's croaked. Oh. I told you! I said he would be nothing but an undercooked kebab by the time you got to him. How could you be so insensitive? Oh dear. Did I strike a nerve? I am only speaking the truth. You're spitting on Francis' grave! How to knock your teeth out, you fucking oser! Oh no, I am very afraid, very afraid. I am crying and shaking and peeing myself in there right now. Everyone, stop! Stop the fighting, stop the anger, stop the hatred! We've only lost so many to this alien invasion. Our dear friends, like China, who got knocked off on the cliff into a swarm of pictos. A Germany who was hit by a runaway train being run by a pig doll without a train operator's license. What? <laughs> the few of us that are left are supposed to be working together, trying to find a way out of this place, survive and rebuild society. But we are like a single ant roaming alone and bound to be squished under a shoe. But together we are like a strong alpaca spitting on the mutant pig toes with their glorious mucus filled saliva of friendship. We must be strong! We must be... Wait, I wasn't that talking! <laughs> Damn, dark comedy. If we continue east, we should be able to find the other safe haven some way for the pig toes. Like these, only if they hadn't been bypassed the city when we got <laughs> here initially infected everywhere else around us. Leaving only this area untouched until now. Shut up! You're just making this whole situation worse with your assholeish remarks! Goodness, the American boys are very angry with me today. It is too bad that I don't care. Just leave him be, America. He's just trying to get a reaction out of us. Because he's a dick. Please stop fighting with friends! I am not friends with that douche nozzle! For the God's sake, can I just eat my fucking stew in peace without having a bunch of men babies whining about who said what mean thing to who? Like, jeez, you'd think that a bunch of immortal beings would be able to keep some fucking semblance of composure during an emergency. But the amount of whining coming from this group is more akin to a daycare with a juice box shortage. Does <laughs> anybody want seconds? No. <sighs> this place looks abandoned. Hopefully that means those fuckers aren't around here. Sorry I'm not talking much, I'm just really sucked in by the ambiance. Y'all did a fucking amazing job. SEXY CAT! The last sex shop in the world. Let's go inside and pay our respects. Let's not and say we did. They could have some supplies we need in there. Like what? Do you want to do is use a dildo as a weapon or something? Oh, creative. Not a bad idea. I was joking. Maybe I'll have some whips or something we can use to fight off the pictos. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm in! Uh, don't like it. No, sir. Fuck it. What the hell? Where's all the sexy stuff? It looks like we've stumbled onto a pace of sorts. Hopefully the owner will not mind us breaking in and taking their things. Are you stealing their stuff? What if they need those things to survive? They just still blame for them. Pocket, pocket, pocket. This place could very well be abandoned. So I could take their canned beans, yeah? But that's stealing! 
Not that the occupant is dead. They seem to have a nice setup over here with these pillows and sheets. Looks like a comfy place for us to spend the night. I'll admit, this is a pretty swanky pad. We do need a place to stay for a while. Not out here. Why not here? Blah. I'm just saying, it seems like a bad idea. What if the person who lives here gets mad and attacks us for stealing their stuff? If the owner tries something, we can take them on. It's six semi-immortal beings versus one human. It'll be nice to sleep inside for a night. Hey, what are you gonna have an old-fashioned sleepover and pretend we're not in a hellish apocalypse? We could watch a movie. Wait, no electricity. We could uh, play a board game. Did you say board game? I found something along those lines if you're up for it. Behold the sexy dice! One of them lists body parts and the other lists actions. And you take turns rolling? Nah! I think I have a pack of cards on me. We could play poker. What fun is poker? What fun is poker with no gambling? How about charades? Sure, riveting game of charades. That's the spirit! Well, anything to distract me from the existential nightmare of living in a crumbling society. <sighs> My favorite pastime is watching someone make a fool of themselves. I'll pass. I'll just gather some supplies to make dinner instead. Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't know. <laughs> eh. Uh. They're not letting me save. That's always a bad idea. The meat is out of date. But like, a day. Eh, they won't notice, I'm sure. Uh, so that's where the stove's kept at least. Hopefully this can fuel can is full. Ugh, it's that baked bean stuffing thing's obsessed with. Nah. How about nah? See we did. That's an unhealthy amount of potatoes. Nah. Ah! Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to go out there. Ugh. How this guy collected whole oil drums worth of water? Nice. Uh, is it is it a chicken? It's two words and it's sports related. Remember? Oh. Water polo. Inline skating. Football? Football is one word you dance. Uh, water polo? You already said water polo. Oh, I know! It's tennis! Canada, is it a sport or an object or a person relating to sports? It's an object. You're not allowed to say anything! I'm sorry. Golf ball? Tennis ball? Croquet mallet? It's all painfully obvious. I won't say it though. Ah, is it a wallop or a horse? Uh, you know what? Maybe I should just tell. No, that's cheating! But it's clear that none of you... If Russia figured it out, then so can we. We'll figure out what it is or tell us or die trying. Ah! Fucking shit! Oh dear! Seems we're not alone here. Oh, I think the homeowner is coming. Oh crap, we're gonna die! Don't you think it's a little too rude to disturb a lamp while he's taking a nap? Romano? How the hell do you know my name? I knew it! It's Jam Boy! <laughs> just. What the fuck, Germany? Oh my god! Germany! 
Did you go for- <laughs> did, you, did you fucking go for such a FAPARATO! <laughs> I thought I'd never see you again! I saw you get run over by a train! Yes, you did. Despite the fact that it's well established that I was definitely killed for some inexplicable reason, I'm still alive. What? What? Uh, I also, uh, missed you and stuff. God damn it, cut! Huh? Oh my god! It's a set! Bruder! You completely botched your line! But you told us we could ad lib. Yeah, I know, but there's a limit. That goes for all of you! I can't say some of the fan favorite lines from the last movie were ad libbed, but some of you are taking it way too far. Ah, uh, we'll need to fix that. I want to take five anyways, after I give you your critiques first. Critiques? Like on our acting? Yes, as a director, I need some rip to rip off the band aid for some of you. Oh boy. I'll start with you, England. You're not really emoting enough. Pardon. You're acting too indifferent to a lot of these situations. The France death scene in particular was really devoid of any strong emotion. Remember, the fans want you to remain to your last love. But I hate him. Not as a movie, you don't. We're going to need to refilm that scene. And when we do, you need to cry. Like, a lot. Cry? Like, fake crying? Actual tears. You can cry and come out, right? No. Well, you're going to need to learn. We have too much integrity and monetary, monetary investment for fake crying here. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Okay, next is Italy. Yes, sir! You're upstaging the cast. You're making these long, drawn-out monologues that are very longer than the, than the ones I have for you in the script. Yeah, I thought it'd be good for me to have a lot of dramatic moments where I get to shine, you know? Because I never get to. Yeah, but we're gonna need to cut those down a lot. You need to take a backseat to the other characters. You're being too distracting. Wait, what? I'm altering the script to give you less lines, and I'm gonna have to ask you to cut down on the long-winded ad-libbing. But, but I'm the main character. I'm front and center on the movie poster. It's true, fucking Pena White did Italy dirty! Hey, my artistic vision is never wrong. You'll be able to portray yourself just fine without all the excess dialogue. In Russia. Just flail him. Yes? Uh. What feedback do you have for me, my dear friend? I, uh. I very much value your opinions and statements. Go on, tell me what I can improve on. My dramaturg slash publicist will now tell you what you need to fix. Ahem! No, no, sorry, I was watching, I was busy watching a video of a dog and a skateboard. What was the question? The fan reception for Russia. Alright! Russia! Your fan base has specific traits they like to see in you. Fan base? Yeah, the people who are fans of you. I have fans? Yes. Wow! Never had a fan before. Please tell me about my many new friends. They seem to find you most endearing when you speak in broken English. <laughs> well, I suppose I could do that. And there's some other data I've collected from fan the fan base. Particularly Canada's. Me? What, what do they like about me? Ah, I know what you're talking about, Feely. They like when you're like a vimp. <laughs> Pardon? They really like photo editing you with flower crowns and things like that, and calling you weirdly cutesy names and such. P Pardon? Yeah, they like when you're emotionally vulnerable, weak, and effeminate. We're gonna have to change the script. To remove all that stuff where you stand up for yourself and uh, you try to save people. Uh, okay. Cool. Now, America. Crunch it, eyes, we can! That, that, that's gotta stop. Huh? So, if 
on me, you guru guru. Okay, this is a long one, so buckle up. Someone wrote a fan fiction based on the first movie called To All the Nations, A Nose of the Bloomed, and this seemed to have formed the foundation of most of what is considered culturally relevant within this fan base. Uh, c can you skip to the interesting part? You want to portray this as strong and hunky type throughout the piece. None of your usual brand of oafishness was portrayed at all! There were also some other things of note about your character in the fic, but I assume there will be no full frontal nudity in the sequel, so they're not relevant! Right, so... Hunky and spunky? Hunky and not so spunky. Just try to be eye candy. I see you're going to be shirtless for the rest of the film. Oh, and you'll need to lay off the junk food. What? No dad bod? Man, these fans have no taste. God. Most importantly... <gasps> Buddha. Yes? I know that acting is a challenge for you. I know that you've had a lot of flops since the first movie, and I know that the stage isn't a comfortable place, uh, isn't a place where you feel comfortable. But do you mind, like, not sucking? Sure thing, brother dearest. And Romano! Oh, you a fucking girl. I've had a lot of your emotional acting to be... Really compelling. Your line delivery is genuine, so whatever strategy you're using to produce such emotive dialogue is working. I didn't see anything wrong with your performance. Just keep doing what you're doing. Oh, uh, thanks? So, with that out of the way, everyone take five! Actually, I've got a coffee. How long would your latte run take? Ten minutes, probably. Okay, give me a large mocha latte with four pumps hazelnut, six pumps of caramel, ten pumps chocolate, three pumps of toffee, espresso shots, almond milk, no wait, soy milk, have them put warm, drizz warm apple drizzle on the sides of the cup on the inside, all fancily, thin whipped creams and a layer of raspberry drizzle, then another layer of whipped cream, then some olden drizzle, extra whip on top, light ice, double full, and make sure it's at least 200 degrees, I need my mouth to burn! Uh, I fucking hate this job. I love having an assistant. We'll all continue getting gets back. Mommy Pressy is gets antsy without her coffee. I've sent out the edited scripts once they're ready. Finally, I can wipe this fucking makeup off. <sighs> Much better. I don't feel like a loaf of stale white bread. Yeah! Call out the whitewashing! <laughs> love it! Hooray! I can save again! Okay, that's gonna have to be there for- Oh my god! I did not fucking see that coming! This is so good! <laughs> I love it! I can't wait to see what the fuck they pull out of their shit next! So that's gonna be for me! So have a good day everybody! Bye! <laughs> Damn! <laughs>